What's with Andy? Whoa, whoa. What's with Andy? What, what, what's with Andy? Hi, I'm Andy. You think I'm kind of clever. I'm taking practical jokes to a whole other level. Started out as a prank, but then got way out of hand. See, now the whole town's shouting, hey, hey what's with Andy? I'm the best, I'm the greatest joke. Oh. Everybody says, what's with Andy? What, what, what's with Andy? I'm a trick playing. Chores isn't so bad. Fire in the hole! Ready! Yeah! That's it. We're done. What do you mean? What about these single socks? They came in as pairs. Socks just don't disappear. No socks? Then I guess our work is done. Now what? Now we sit here and channel surf. East Gackle, a town that redefines normal and quaint. Believe me, nothing ever happens here. And that's why this charming and uneventful town has a very good chance of winning Town of the Year. Why'd you turn it off? What are you thinking? Normal, quiet town, uneventful, nothing ever happens in East Gackle? That's insulting! Hasn't anyone noticed my years of annoying pranks? It sounds like our town of the year needs pranking. Big time. <laughs> really big time. We've got to make something happen, but what? Alien attack? Uh, done that. Uh, oh, monster in the lake! Uh, too complicated. The Loch Ness Monster, the East Gackle, uh, goon? East Gackle, uh, giant? Oh, East Gackle, ogre. Uh-huh. I got an idea. Come on. <laughs> Gotta be in here somewhere. Got it. My fifth grade Halloween costume. An ape suit? Yeah, man, an ape suit. It'll be a great prank. Uneventful East Gackle will soon be the home of... Bigfoot. Bigfoot? All we gotta do is let it out that Bigfoot is roaming around town, and then sit back and watch the fun. Yeah, I guess it could work. But you'll never fit into that suit. Oh. <laughs> well, how do I look? I totally buy it. I think there's a nest of mice in my armpit. That's not good news. Well, let's hit the town and see how boring East Gackle deals with Bigfoot. Okay, let's try some action shots. Run around a bit. Hello, police. I'd like to report a hideous monkey-like creature running around wildly, scratching its rear end. Look at those footprints. They look totally real. Yeah, good thing I learned how to walk as a child. Who knew I'd be Bigfoot? Actually, your feet aren't that big. Well, Mayor, congratulations. This quaint little town of yours has been nominated for Town of the Year. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mayor... We thought you should see these. If you'll excuse me, I have an important briefing with the head of our local law enforcement. Sure, we'll be around. Ma'am, this Bigfoot activity seems to be the real deal. I've had some experience with monkeys, and these footprints are to be taken very seriously. Bigfoot? Oh, come on. This is a bunch of hoo-ha claptrap. I don't believe it for a second. Looks like we're gonna have to turn things up a notch and maybe let that reporter do a little reporting for us. Okay, the coast is clear. Go get your hairy groove on. On my way. This is so cool! That's a keeper. Hey, watch out! Ah! 
Whoa, are you okay? Yeah, I think so. You need to be doing something. You could take a picture of me eating the mare's socks. No, better grab all the mare's left socks, but just the left ones. But I assure you, these are isolated incidents. How do you know that? As mayor of our fine city, it's my job to look after the best interests of all East Gackle citizens. <laughs> where a mysterious controversy has gripped this quaint, quiet town. Socks are being stolen and citizens are up in arms. Look at this. Little Foot is what this terrorizing creature is being called. And this Little Foot is big trouble. East Gackle could be changed forever. No socks, no peace. Find Little Foot now. No socks, no peace. Find Little Foot now. I can't believe this prank is such a huge success. Sometimes the less you plan, the better things work out. Please, please, there is no sock bandit, no paramilitary sock stockpile, no little foot, no sock situation at all. Everything is normal. Are you wearing socks right now, Mayor? Uh, define what you mean by wearing. <laughs> Mayor, what a pleasant surprise. Oh, yes. And what can I do for you? You could move your head a little. Blasted Littlefoot! He's got my socks! So, do you believe in Littlefoot now? I do. And I vow to capture that devious monkey and get the good people of East Gackle's socks back. Huh? huh? Littlefoot strikes again, taunting the good citizens of East Gackle. We must get that Littlefoot creature. The town's mad, and I don't blame him. We all miss our socks. Uh, what do you want to do? We need a plan. And I just thought of who can help catch this sock-obsessed monkey. <laughs> now, Andy, we know your reputation for being a prankster. Do we ever? Listen, I didn't mean to... You've pulled some pretty major stunts. He sure has. Uh, thanks. Uh, I'm sorry if I... I mean, it was harmless, and I... Uh, well, actually, uh, can I go now? We need your help, son. Huh? Come again? This creature is menacing our town and besmirching the honorable office of the mayor. We were hoping that you could catch it. I didn't see this one coming. I'll get your monster for you on one condition. Name it that I cannot be punished for any and all pranks I've ever pulled up to and including today. We'll hammer out the details later. I'm gonna need a bag of socks, a flashlight, some chocolate milk, and a large pizza. Everything's A-OK. -okay. The trap is set and ready. Here goes. <laughs> What's that running off to the side? It, it's, it's Littlefoot. <laughs> Andy? Come in, Andy! It worked! Huh? It came for the socks! Littlefoot is caged! You look much bigger on TV. No, Spank, no! I mean, uh, no, Littlefoot! <laughs> Hey, there are two little foots. Uh. That's no little foot. That's Andy's little friend. So it was all a prank. They pulled the old switcheroo. Oh, you kids are gonna get it. <laughs> 
boy, are you gonna get it. But we had a deal, remember? You can't punish us. East Gackle has overcome their troubles by catching their local sock-stealing monster. Peace has been restored, and this town deserves its Town of the Year award. Hey. 322 more loads of socks. The whole town's. And don't forget to pair them up in pairs of two socks per group. <laughs> And quiet. I got it! Hi, Craig! Oh, hi, Grandpa. Your plane arrives tomorrow. You'll catch a cab? Yeah, I'm still a cheerleader. <laughs> no, Andy hasn't been lobotomized yet. Okay, Grandpa, I gotta go. I'm meeting Terry at the mall. Yep, see you tomorrow. Grandpa's gonna be here tomorrow. Look at this place, it's a mess. Grandpa! Dad, uh, let me get that for you. Oh, what'd you bring me? Gee, Dad, uh, since when do you need a wheelchair? Oh, no, no, nothing to worry about, son. I, I brought it just in case my hip gives out again. What do you have in here that's so heavy? Just some things I need. Let, let's see, I got my, my pills. Uh, I take 20 a day. All different times, mind you. And then there's my uh, defibrillator and my blood pressure gauge. Dialysis machine and my heart monitor. It's so good to be around young people. Well, it'll be good to be around uh, you. That is so, so sweet, Andy, my boy. I'm really looking forward to staying here and knowing that you'll be nearby to pick me up when I fall or, or apply ointment to my bunions. Yeah. It's very comforting. Here. Just put this under my nose when I'm sleeping, to, to, to make sure I'm still breathing. Good boy. I know I can depend on you. Ah, rackin' fraggin' tires. Now I'll be late for work. What's wrong, dear? Someone let the air out of my tires. Why are you looking at me? I didn't do it. Well, who did? Grandpa? <laughs> <laughs> Andy, you've lost your allowance. Excuse me, but I have to pump the air into the tires. In my day, we used to blow up the tires with our mouths. That's why we all wear dentures. Well, I have to go to a meeting with the library committee. You'll be all right, won't you? Oh, don't worry about me. I'll manage. Uh, can someone set up the TV so I can see it from the can? I'm going to the mall. See you, Grandpa. Uh, okay. See ya. After you set up the TV. And make it snappy. My court shows are starting. <laughs> Report to the principal's office. Now! That's gotta be a record. Larkin, your uh, grandfather called. He says there's a crisis and you need to go home immediately. <laughs> Grandpa? Grandpa? Grandpa! Huh, that's weird. Okay, Mr. Joker. Impersonating your grandfather so as you could steal all the playground balls has just earned you a week of cleaning blackboards! What? I hope you're happy. Now all the fourth graders have to play with is a leftover meatball. <sighs> but I... I, well, I couldn't have. I, it really wasn't me this time. Seriously. Or was it me? <laughs> <gasps> Where were you, Grandpa? What happened? What happened was uh, that I slipped and fell on the sidewalk, and you weren't there to break my fall. But I came home. I looked everywhere for you. Well, I was right in front here, lying on the ground, in terrible pain. But don't let me inconvenience your busy lives. Andy, how could you let this happen to your grandfather? Say goodbye to next week's allowance. You are such a slime ball. 
But I got the message at school, then I came home, but he wasn't here. I was here. There you go, Grandpa. Thirst quenching water. Huh? Oh, uh, oh. Jan, honey, would you make your grandpa some frozen vegetables? Doctor says I need mushy roughage. Sure thing, Grandpa. <gasps> My sweaters! They're all frozen! Aha! So you don't have any time to help Grandpa, but you do have time to freeze all of my sweaters! You are such a thumb! I don't know what you're talking about, but that is cool. No, Andy, that wasn't cool. And you're gonna give Jen next month's allowance. We don't freeze clothes in this family. Hmm. Why won't anyone believe me? These are great pranks, really great. But amazingly, I'm not the one doing them. Someone is pulling all these pranks, but who? Handy boy, could, could you pass me my heart monitor? I, I have to check the old ticker. It's not as strong as it used to be. You can count on me, Grandpa. Anything you need, just ask. Well, I'll tell you one thing. If I was you, I'd cut down on all the funny business. Life is serious. Better you learn that now. I promise, Grandpa. I'll be good. Yo, Mr. Larkin. The two anchovy pizzas you ordered. That'll be $22.95. But uh, I didn't order any pizzas. That's your name on the order. That'll be $22.95. Uh... Andy, really? Having pizzas delivered to my car? Nice one, Andy. But I didn't... This is coming out of your allowance, mister. At this point, I'm totally giving up on ever getting allowance again. What's this? <gasps> My favorite blouse! It's ruined! Andy! I don't think it'll fit you. This is coming out of your allowance. Come on, Mom, it wasn't me! You've been watching, right? It wasn't me! In my day, they didn't call it toast. They called it cooked bread. It's true. What is Spank barking at? That's no place for a wheelchair. It isn't natural. Hey, what's up? Very funny brainless wonder. Who raised you? I certainly didn't. Let me guess. This is coming out of my allowance? You got that right. And another thing. Don't bother. I'll send myself to my room. Someone out there is trying to out-prank me. <gasps> I don't know what's in those pills he has to take, but I think it works a little too good. Grandpa, what are you doing up there? Step aside, son. <clears throat> but your hip, your heart. How'd you do that? Ah, uh, they're both fine. Actually, I'm as fit as a fiddle. You see, I heard you like pranks. So, I decided to beat you at your own game. Preemptive pranking, you might say. Ha! Ah, close your mouth, Andy. Anyway, I'm responsible for all of it. You're kidding. Wow, they were brilliant. You are a true artist. Of course, I'd have preferred it if you chose Jen as your victim, but still, <laughs> way to go. Ah, uh, Jen would never last. She's too fragile. But you, son, you got moxie. Ah, it's been a real kick playing you like a fiddle. By the way, I got a trust fund that'll make up for all that lost allowance I cost my favorite grandson. I'm your only grandson. Don't ruin the moment. Anyway, I have an idea. Thank you. You're such a dear. Not like some people I know. Okay, everyone, give me some room. I'll save you, Grandpa. <gasps> oh. Thank you, Andy. You saved my life. You're a credit to this family and to all mankind. That was amazing, son. In my day, we never grounded lifesavers. We fed them barbecue. Hmm, good point, Dad. Andy, consider yourself ungrounded. 
Jen, go get Grandpa and Andy some lemonade, and, uh, you've still got some chewed beans in your hair. Thanks, Grandpa. You're the best. Yes, I am. Now, what do we do for an encore? I'm still here for a few more weeks, and I hear this town is easy pickings. Uh, uh, would you hand me my cane? <laughs> Good one, Grandpa. <laughs> Fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids.